This is ground zero. No, not ground zeros. This is ground zero for the end of Metal Gear Solid 4. Up to this point, everything that it sets out perfectly continues on from the events of Metal Gear Solid 2. Liquid Ocelot is intent on bringing about his dominance in a Patriot-controlled world based upon war, and Snake, with Otacon and Campbell in tow, sets out to put an end to his plotting. Snake heads to the Middle East, as that is where Liquid Ocelot is, with the intent to kill him on sight. Unfortunately, that doesn't go so well. Part 2 sees Snake head to South America to rescue Naomi, who is being held by Liquid Ocelot for, at this point, reasons. So, Naomi is back. Okay, I guess. And Vamp. And Rose. And Raiden? Maybe? Hmm, that's a lot of returns, but I'm sure there's a point to them all. Onwards to the mansion where Naomi is being held. Use all the sneaking and fighting techniques that were discovered in the Middle East section, but this time in a more jungle-like setting. Cool! Aha! We found Naomi! And... Oh dear. Time for the first of many random, tangent-based exposition dumps. Then an admittedly quite good boss fight, at least on early playthroughs. Then... Drebin gives you a backstory about the boss, which is basically the same for all of them. You get a weird tracking mission to find Naomi, then a vehicle chase section which feels longer than it actually is. The ride and vamp scene is cool, but then chapter 3 starts. Now admittedly this works better on first or second playthroughs, but on repeat playthroughs, from this point on, it is a slog. The new sneaking style is essentially dead from here, and the gameplay in chapter 3 and 5 is so minimal. Going to Shadow Moses is a cool touch, but the general sneaking gameplay is still compromised, due to the lack of human enemies. As soon as you find Naomi, the game is pretty much over, and the movie really kicks in. Now, I know we all love a Kojima cutscene, but some of these are so convoluted. Speaking of convoluted, Liquid Ocelot's plan of world domination really goes down the rabbit hole, and virtually everyone from the series comes back. There's even a reference to Madnar. Hell, even the ghost of Psycho Mantis appears. What the actual? It was a case of throwing the entire series at the wall and seeing what sticks. And then including everything anyway. All of this compromised the final product. Especially from a gameplay perspective. And made the experience not fun. Games are meant to be fun. Yes, some make you think or question things. Some speak out for a certain cause. Some try to develop new technology. Some try a mix of these things, but ultimately games should be fun. And once Naomi is found, the fun, for the most part, is lost. Save for the Rex and Ray fight, of course. Now, obviously, this is only my opinion on Guns of the Patriots. It is not fact. So I'd be very interested to hear your take on this. Let's discuss it in the comments section. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe to the channel for more Metal Gear studying. Thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.